me again. So, um, this video is going to be all about things I'm doing differently with Liridin. Um, You know, I think it's important to realize that different children need different things. And so we can't parent each child exactly the same way. Um, so one thing that I've been doing differently with Liridin is I haven't been attachment parenting as much. I've been leaving her more um, with other people like my mommy helper um, and also not wearing her as much just because it's a hot summer that she's been born in and so she's in the stroller a lot more than Everest was and in the car seat in general just like kind of going along with whatever we're doing with Everest. Yeah. I'm also like not responding to her cries the same way with Everest. Like as soon as she was upset, I went to go make it better. I always just wanted to make it better. Where with Leardon, I'm trying to acknowledge and empathize more and um, kind of give her some more room to have some emotions and to have some frustrations and stuff. So an example would be like with Everest, um, let's say like I sensed that she was on her stomach and she wanted a toy. I'd bring the toy closer to her and I'd be like, here you go. Like you want this, right? Uh, whereas with Leardin, I'll say, oh, you're frustrated. You want that toy, don't you? And just kind of give her the space to potentially get there herself, but also just not aim to, like, make the tears go away right away. Um, obviously, if I sense that she's in, like, discomfort or need, needs something, I meet her needs. Um, <clears throat> but I think the difference between... Uh, my parenting with Everest versus Leardin is that I see negative emotions as not so negative, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm also aiming to get Leardin into a crib uh, with Everest. I bed shared for a long time, and I just don't feel like bed sharing is working for me. Um, I think it's... Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's sustainable this time around and I definitely feel like it's um you know caused my husband and I to lose a sense of intimacy because Colin and I haven't slept in the same bed for ages and ages so my goal is in the next three months to get Everest sleeping alone because she's still sleeping in a bed with Colin and to get Leardin sleeping in her own room in a crib so that Colin and I can sleep in the same bed um, and uh, have some more intimacy, not just sexual intimacy, but, like, just to talk. Like, I feel like we never talk anymore except, you know, in text messages and, uh, and stuff like that. You're very chatty. I think Leardin wants this video to be her video. You you have stuff to say. Okay. You well, you have stuff to say about it. Um Yeah. And with Everest, when Everest was first born, like it took a really long time for me to leave her and to uh, trust other people with her. But I'm trying to not do that with Leardin and really prioritize taking time for myself because with Everest, I got to a really dark place where like, I felt like I was a shell of a person, just totally lost in motherhood. And I really would prefer not to get there this time. Like I wanna prioritize my own needs a little bit more, get my hair done, and shower more. You okay? Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Come here. Um, I'm not doing everything differently. I'm still feeding on demand. I'm still... 
Do you want this? No. I'm still donating breast milk. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm still me. I'm still lovey, lovey, mama. I love you. I love you. Um, but I feel like I'm taking a bit of a different approach with my parenting. Less attachment style and more R.I.E. style and like giving her more space to explore with, you know, on the floor instead of holding her all the time. Um, and, uh, yeah. I also think I'm going to do things differently with food. I've been thinking a lot about that, but I'm going to save that for another video. And, uh, hopefully... You're just watching me. Hopefully, uh, deal with a little less food pickiness because Everest is quite picky. All right.